In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a multicolor gingham check pattern. I'll be teaching you a formula that'll help you to get it right from the very beginning. And stick around to the end, because we're going to make a two-color gingham, a three-color gingham, and this six-color pastel multicolor gingham pattern. So let's get started. So we're going to start our pattern by creating an initial rectangle, the same as we did with our classic gingham. The height of our rectangle will be the same size that we want our gingham squares to be. We're going to make our squares a half inch. So for a multicolor gingham, depending on how many colors you want to use, you're going to have to figure out what your initial rectangle width should be so that your pattern turns out right. So you just have to follow this simple formula that I'm going to give you right now. So the formula is take the desired square size that you want to use, multiply that by two, and multiply that by the amount of colors that you want in your repeat, not including the ground color though. So according to the formula, if I want my squares to be a half inch, I'm going to multiply that by two. And since I want to make two colors in my repeat, I'm going to multiply that by two. And in the end, we get two inches. So that means that my initial rectangle will have a width of two inches. And we're going to keep the height at the desired square size, which is a half inch. So before we start to make our pattern, we're going to go up to view and make sure that our smart guides are checked and they are. So we're gonna take this initial two inch wide rectangle, hold alt shift and drag it down until you see the word intersect. So that means that the two rectangles are intersecting perfectly and there is no space in between them. And we're gonna hold alt shift and drag down again. And then we're gonna take that middle rectangle and delete it because that middle rectangle is just a placeholder to make sure that our space is the same exact size as the rectangle height. Now the second rectangle, we're gonna make it into our second color. And I'm picking the blue color. Then I'm gonna drag over these two, hit Control G to group them. And then we're gonna follow the same procedure that we did for the classic gingham. So I'm gonna do Control C and Control F to paste in front. Then I'm going to right click, transform, rotate, and I'm rotating that copy to 90 degrees. Then I'm holding shift to select both of the groups. And I'm going to my align panel and choosing horizontal align left and vertical align top. And then I'm going to go right up to opacity and change the opacity to 50%, which is creating my tonal gingham effect. And then I'm going to group these, hit Control G. And now I have to make my background box. So I'll do like I did before, and I'm going to make it in black first so you can see what I'm doing, and then I'll change it to white. So because my pattern is now two inches by two inches, my background box will be a square that is two inches by two inches. And then I will select the background box and the pattern. I'll align those horizontally at the center and vertically at the center. And then choosing only the background box, I'm going to right click, arrange, send to back, and then go ahead and change it to the white color that I want. And then I'm selecting over this whole thing, dragging it into my swatches panel. I'll move this over so we can make our test box. And there we have our two color gingham pattern. That wasn't so hard, right? Okay, so if we follow this formula, we can also make a three color, four color, however many colors that you want. So according to the formula, if I wanna make a three color gingham, I'm gonna change this here to three. And when we multiply the half inch square by two by three colors, we get three inches. So our initial rectangle that we're going to use for our three color gingham is going to have a width of three inches and always keeping the height of a half an inch. So quickly we'll just follow the same procedure with the smart guides on. We're going to do alt shift drag down to copy, alt shift drag down to copy, remove the placeholder, choose our second color, alt shift to copy down, Alt shift to copy down, making sure they're intersecting, remove the placeholder, select the third color, 
select everything, control G to group, then control C to copy, control F to paste in front, right click, transform, rotate to 90 degrees, click OK, select both of the groups, do horizontal align left, do vertical align top, reduce the opacity to 50%, group this with control G and since our pattern is now three inches by three inches we're gonna make that background box that is three inches by three inches now selecting the background box and the pattern aligning at the center horizontally and vertically selecting only the background box arrange Right click, arrange, send to back, and change the ground color to white. Drag the whole thing into your swatches panel. Make our test box. And there we have our three color, multicolor gingham pattern. So we're not gonna go through all the numbers. I think you get the idea now. But now that you've got it, let's go ahead and make that six color rainbow pastel gingham pattern that I showed you at the beginning. But real quick, if you're finding this video useful, please hit the like button and please subscribe so I can keep bringing you more videos like this. So using our formula, keeping the half inch square size, multiplying that by two, and now using six colors, that's gonna come out to six inches for our initial rectangle width and let's just get rid of these right now so i'm gonna start off with a red color and i'm making my rectangle width six inches like we just calculated always keeping the height at the desired square size which is a half inch or 0.5 select the rectangle hold alt shift drag it down till you see intersect drag it down again till you see intersect Delete the placeholder and make the second rectangle into the second color that you wanna use. Hold Alt Shift and copy it down. Hold Alt Shift, copy down again. Delete the placeholder and select your third color. And now we're gonna repeat that process until we get all six of our colors in there. And I know the colors look really strong right now, but we're gonna reduce the opacity even more this time and get that nice pastel look that we're going for. So select over all of them, hit Control G to group them, then Control C to copy, Control F to paste in front, right click, transform, rotate to 90 degrees, click OK, hold Shift to select both groups, Go to the Align panel and do Horizontal Align Left and Vertical Align Top. And then go ahead and reduce the opacity. And we've been using 50%, but I think I want this to look even lighter and more pastel than this. So I'm gonna go all the way to 20% for this. And that gives us a nice pastel look there. So now my pattern is six inches by six inches and let me just make sure this is grouped move it over and I'm gonna make my background box six inches by six inches to match the pattern then I'll hold shift to select the background box and the pattern align them horizontally at the center and vertically at the center Selecting the background box, right clicking, arrange, send to back, and make that background box into white. Select the whole thing, drag it into your swatches panel. We'll move this out of the way. And then we'll make our background box, test out our repeat. And there you have this fun rainbow pastel multicolor six color gingham pattern. So I hope you liked the tutorial and make sure you check out the rest of my print pattern playlists. See you on the next video. Thanks guys.